Four incidences of buildings collapsing have so far been recorded this year, with the worst one being the Chiseni building collapse, where six lives were lost in August. As a result, the National Building Review Board has started consolidating partnerships with players within the construction sector in order to discharge its duties. In a stakeholders meeting with engineers, architects and surveyors, the board revealed some of the challenges that are plaguing the construction sector. The use of poor materials, yeah, uh, this is also worrying. Uh, the use of poor and certified building methods, okay. Uh, I've talked about the composite steel structures, new yes. operators, everywhere we have been, all sites, all the 11 sites. Uh, these so-called engineers, they call them, yes, on all these building sites. They are everywhere. We need to do something about it. In order to address these challenges, it was agreed that professionals should be more involved in the construction of buildings from start to their finish. The involvement of different professionals will also weed out the quacks who have infiltrated the construction sector, putting many lives at risk. The, the interesting thing is that most of the sites where we have had problems of collapse, there are some quacks. And quacks here, uh, means those engineers or architects who are not registered. We are going to have campaigns where this police is going to go out and I think very soon the public is going to see these people. The police is going to go with, with force to handle and where possible arrest all those poor masqueraders, engineers or architects who are not certified. The National Building Review Board has welcomed this cooperation. Because each of us has a part to play. So we've agreed on what we as the National Building Review Board should do, what the Engineers Registration Board should do, what the architects and the surveyors should do. We want to bring everybody on the same table to understand what building control is and what we need to ensure safety of our buildings and standards really. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.